Okay then, before I start today's Noslan and PlayStation 3 RPCS3 setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation setup guides like this one you're about to watch today. Also helps out my channel a lot. So we're looking at Nosland. So a couple of nights ago, I uploaded the beginner's guide to Nosland, which is probably arguably the easiest front-end emulating system around, probably right next to Retrobat. So if you're new to Nosland and you want to get to grips with it, then check out my beginner's guide. I uploaded that a couple of nights ago, like I said. I also explained in that video that it's pretty easy to use, but there's going to be some more complex emulators that you might need some guidance with. And the first one I'm starting with in this little Nosland series is RPCS3. So what we're going to do first is obviously have a copy of Nosland installed, and I'm using the latest version just here. We're also going to need some PlayStation 3 games, and for this setup guide, I'm using Demon Souls. If I go inside of my game just here, your PlayStation 3 structure should look a little bit like this. So we've got PS3 underscore game, and inside of here, you'll likely see chop directory and usr directory if we come out you'll also likely have a ps3 underscore update folder uh, with a ps3 of that dot pup so what we're going to do then is actually look at firmware so rpcs3 operates only once you've got the correct firmware and right now it's recording this video uh, sony dropped a new firmware version which is 4.91 a little while ago, around about a month ago, I think it was, which was pretty random. Now, you can download this from the official Sony PlayStation website. I'll leave the links in my description. And what you need to do is update using the computer. If you just left click on this and download PS3 update, if you've got any problems with this on particular web search engines such as Google, then try what I'm doing just here. This is Microsoft Edge and this one works fine for me. So just download a copy of that and that's going to download a updat.pub file which I've already got on my desktop which is just here. And what we're going to need to do then is actually open up Noslun and we're going to go to PS3. And it's obviously going to say no games found and we got the option here to browse for games or install RPCS3. So we're going to install RPCS3 first, and if I left click on this, this is going to take us directly into our Noslan MU folder. What this is asking for is RPCS3, so if I just press my Windows button, and I'm going to go over to the RPCS3 website, if I go to download, I'm going to just scroll down just a touch, and I'm going to download it from Windows. It's only 28 megabyte in size, so it's not actually that big, so it won't take you too long to download this one. So as we can see, this is now downloaded. If I just extract this one, this is downloaded in a RAR archive. So we've got all the contents here for RPCS3, and what I need to do is drag and drop those into that MU PS3 RPCS3 folder. So I'm going to just go back to that archive and just extract all the contents into that folder like I'm doing here. So once these have been extracted, what we're going to need to do then is actually, just for the sake of putting everything together in one place, I'm going to get that firmware file, that ps 3 updatpup which is on my desktop. So if I just search for it, PS3 up that dot pub. I remember this is the firmware. If I just make a copy of that and go back into that PS3 RPCS3 folder in the MU folder within Nosland directory, I'm going to just paste it in there. So, like I say, everything's together. So, from here, what I'm going to do is open up RPCS3.exe. And we can obviously use this as a standalone, or we could just use it in Nosland. So just for argument's sake, if I go to create desktop shortcut, that just means that if you ever want to use this outside of Nosland, then the options there is easy enough to get to. And what I'm going to do next is check, I have read the quick start guide and check do not show again. I'm going to go to continue. What we need to do next is install that firmware. If we just look on the console just here, it has missing firmware. So I just dragged and dropped that PS3 up that dot pup inside of the PS3 RPCS3 folder. So I'm going to go to file to install the firmware and go to install firmware. 
Now I need to locate that PS3 up that dot pup and this should take you directly into that PlayStation 3 folder. If I just scroll down, I'll find it here. If I double left click on this, now this bit is going to take a little bit of time to install. So just check, don't show again, okay. So this is the part where it's going to take maybe a few minutes, even up to half an hour in some cases. So just be patient with this. And this isn't going to be the first time you see compiling PPU modules. So if you install Noslun as a default installation, your directory is going to be in Documents, MU. And here is the list of systems that we can drag our games into. So my game Demon Source is on my desktop. So first of all, I'm going to just go to desktop and I'm going to make a copy of Demon Source. So if I right click on it and copy that, I'll go back to MU and I'm going to just paste that Demon Source game inside of that games folder. Okay, so once PPU modules have been finalized and everything's now been installed, so we've now got to look for that Demon Souls game. So when you originally installed Noslun, it would have created a folder in your documents directory called MU. And this is where I just dragged and dropped my Demon Soul game. And this was in the PS3 folder. So I've dropped it inside of my games folder. And here it is. Now if I left click on Demon Souls and select folder, and here it is. So we got the option here to add the game itself as a desktop shortcut, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to just press OK. And the game is now added. So what I'm going to do for now is just close out and we're going back to Nosland and we're going to OK this. This time we're going to go back and browse for games folder. If I left click on this one. So from here, what I'm going to do is again, look for that MU folder, which is here. And again, we're going to just look for that PS3 folder and the games folder, Demon Souls, and I'm going to select folder. Okay, as you can see, the game's now been imported into Noslun, and this is Point Noslun. We can now have some glossy artwork to go with it, and we can actually launch the game. Now, in this game, what's actually happened, because I've got particular files that are not named correctly, Demon Souls, by opening this one just here, isn't going to load. So, it's actually, in my case, going to be ESA Game Pack, and that's going to launch RPCS3 Emulator. And launch my Demon Soul game. So I'm not saying that's going to happen to everyone out there uh, using particular games, but in my instance, this has happened. So, anyways, we're going to launch a game through ESA Game Pack, and we're going to just launch it the normal way through Noslun. So just go to play. This opens up very briefly the emulator. And now this is what I was saying just a minute ago. Uh, this isn't going to be the last time you see PPU modules compiling. What this is doing at this point is taking lots of the data, lots of the graphics and everything else which is in the game and it's compiling it into a folder. So every time we launch a PS3 game with this emulator in the future, we won't see this. This is literally a one-time process. And if we go back to RPCS3, what I'm going to do is actually go to Pads. And what I'm going to do is just go to Handlers. And from here, I'm going to select X Input. I'm using an Xbox controller for this. And what we can actually do now is either map out ourselves just by left clicking on each one of these buttons. So for up on D-pad, I can press up on my D-pad on my Xbox controller. But as you can see, all of this is pretty much mapped out for you. So to the save.
So this time around, my controller's working just fine with this. And that's it for today's Noslun and setting up RPCS3 PlayStation 3 games. So I've given you the basics just there, and what I recommend you doing is actually checking out my standalone RPCS3 emulator setup guide. I'm going to leave the link for that in my description. And what that's going to show you is fine-tuning your PlayStation 3 games. So it's also going to show you how to correctly set up video settings, how to apply patches, how to update games and DLC. It's also going to show you how to open up your games in full screen. Uh, but like I say, this guide was literally just designed just to get you up and running with it. So if you want to take PlayStation 3 to the next level, do check that guide out. I'm going to leave the link in my description for that. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. Also, be sure to check out my playlist for a range of different front end systems that I upload every day, twice a day sometimes, if I can. Also check me out on social media, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.